What's up, everyone? It's Jones here. As we get closer to wrapping up Phantom Nightmare, an aroma has led this journey to a garden of plants. But first, if you can plant the seed onto those thumbs up and subscribe buttons, it would mean a whole lot. The first new card that we have here is Aroma Lilith Rosalina. It reads, quick effect, you can discard this card, then target one aroma monster you control as a cost. Gain life points equal to half its attack. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one non-tuner aroma monster from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except plant monsters. You can only use each effect of Rosalina once per turn. And both of these effects are really important, even though the first effect you'll only see once in this video, it's more important in real games where you're actually playing through interruptions and with five cards starting in your hand or six if you're going second. For this first combo, we're going to start by normal summoning the Rosalina, using its effect in order to bring out our Laurel, I think it's called, and then we'll be able to link away into our Jasmine, and we can then use the effect of Laurel, which will gain us life points so that we can trigger the Jasmine's effect to surge, getting us the Lily Borea. Now we can use the effect of Lily Borea special summoning it, and then we can equip the Laurel to it, use the effect of Lily, and then we can search ourselves the Disc Coliseum. At this point, we'll use the effect of the Disc Coliseum in order to search ourselves the Lily Borea, and now we can use the effect of Jasmine in order to special summon out the Lone Fire Blossom. Use the effect of Lone Fire Blossom tributing the Jasmine, special summon out the Loki, and then you can use the Loki to go into the Dryas, use the effect of Dry is getting us the sun seed sowing or the sun vine sowing and then we can activate the sowing in order to special summon out the twin now we can use the effect of twin along with the effect of dryas which will get us the healer along with the loci in the field and then we'll be able to continue making link plays from here as we'll also gain more life points via the healer and then we'll go into our next new card this is the aroma list rosemary and it reads it takes two plus plant monsters if this card is special summoned you can add one aroma card from your deck to your hand if you gain life points even during the damage step, you can special summon up to three aroma monsters from your hand to your zone that this card points to. You can tribute one monster this card points to, then target one card on the field as a cost, banish it, and if you do, gain 1,000 life points. You can only use each effect of Rosemary once per turn. So, some really cool effects here, but the one that's most used will be the search effect, of course. As we're going to add ourselves our next new card, this is the Aroma Blend, and it's a normal spell card that reads, discard one card as a cost, place one humid winds, dried winds, or or blessed winds from your hand or deck face up in your spell and trap zone. You can banish this card from your graveyard as a cost. Fusion summon one plant fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand and or field. If your life points are higher than your opponents, you can also banish plant monsters from your graveyard as material. You can only use each effect of blend once per turn. Now, I didn't grab the Regulus in this particular combo because we are going to end up pitching the Lily Borea so that we can get ourselves the blessed winds. Now, the reason why I chose the blessed winds is because because it's the most consistent one to resolve, as you don't want to be paying life points in some specific hands just because it means that you may not be able to continue with your combos, as you have to pay life points for the humid winds. So just being able to put anything back into your extra deck or your hand via the second effect and then gain the life points is just an easier, accessible way to combo, as we're going to then go into our Jasmine, use the effect of the winds, put back the Dryas as we'll gain life points, trigger the effect of Jasmine, add ourselves the Rika Fairy. Now we can go into our Bang, as we'll use the effect of the Rika Fairy tributing the Bang, use the effect of the Fairy in order to get ourselves the Con Con. Now we can activate the Con Con, use the effect in order to get ourselves the Glamour. We'll then use the effect of Glamour and contribute off the Fairy, get ourselves the Primula along with the Princess, and now we can special summon the Primula off of its effect, and then special summon Rika Princess with its effect so that we can get access into the Strena. Use the effect of Strena, which will get back the Laurel to hand, and from here we can then use the effect of Blend, which will bring out our new fusion monster, and this is Aroma Lilith Magnolia. It's a fusion monster, 2600 attack, 1800 defense, also a plant. It reads, one Aroma monster plus one plant monster. While your life points are higher than your opponent's, plant monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Once per turn, you can pay 2000 life points as a cost, banish cards on the field equal to the total number of humid winds, dried winds, and blessed winds you control. Once per turn, if you gain life points even during the damage step, you can make all plant monsters you currently control gain an equal amount of attack until the end of this turn. So this can have multi-purpose use in this deck as a board ender where you're able to protect your stuff, or you can even use it as an extender. 
then going to use the effect of Laurel here as we're then going to use the Laurel and the Fusion in order to go into the Daphne. Now, the reason that I'm playing this is because of the Rosalina being a one-card combo that you can then tribute off the Strena on your own turn without having to wait for your opponent's turn and then still having the ability to use the Princess to tribute off your opponent's monster instead via the Con Con. But we're then going to use the effect of Daphne, put back our two Jasmines, which is also important because these combos do run through a lot of extra deck cards, so having the Daphne in order to get back some of those resources is pretty important in my opinion, but we're going to get out the Sacred Tree, and then we're going to attach a material to it, as we'll then be able to use the Bang, banish two monsters, as we'll then be able to revive it, and from here we can pass on to our opponent. This second combo features a second iteration of the same one, and we're going to start here by normal summoning the Rosalina, use the effect of the Rosalina to get ourselves the Laurel, go into our Jasmine, use the effect of Laurel, we'll be able to then get the search off of Jasmine, as we'll add ourselves the Lily Borea, we can then activate the Lily Borea, we'll equip the Rosalina to it, as we'll then use the effect of Lily Borea to get ourselves the Disc Coliseum, use the effect of Disc Coliseum in order to add ourselves the Regulus, and now from here we can use the effect of the Jasmine in order to get ourselves the Lone Fire Blossom, do keep in mind that we are locked into plants because of Rosalina, but we're going to use the effect of the Lone Fire Blossom to get ourselves the Lokai, and now we can go into our Dryas, use the effect of the Dryas as we'll add ourselves the Sewing, and now we can activate the Sewing to get ourselves the Twin, and now we can pay the life points for the Sewing as we'll also be able to use the effect of the Twin and the Dryas. We'll get ourselves the Healer along with the Lokai on board, as we'll then be able to continue to Link Summon from here as we're going to gain life points via the Healer, as we're then going to go straight into our Jasmine, use the effect Rosemary, and then we'll be able to add ourselves the Angelica so that we have an extra extender at this point because we didn't add the Lily Borea and we added the Regulus for follow-up we're doing it this way instead we're going to go into our Jasmine use the effect of the Angelica so that we can gain life points while Jasmine is on board add ourselves the Rika Fairy as we'll then be able to use the effect of the Angelica as we'll then be able to link away into the Sun of Avalon Link 3 I forget the name of it we'll then use its effect in order to bring back our Lokai go into the Bang use the effect of Fairy tributing off the Bang so that we can then use the effect of Fairy in order to get ourselves Con Con, activate the Con Con so that we can get ourselves Glamour, then we can use the effect of Glamour tributing off the Fairy, and then we can get ourselves access into our Primula along with the Rika Princess, which means that we have access into our Strena as well. So we're going to Special Summon both out as we're going to go into the Strena, use the effect of Strena in order to get back our Laurel, and now from this point we can Special Summon out the Laurel, and then we can use the Laurel along with the Aroma Therapy or the Aroma Lilith rosemary in order to go into our daphne and then we can use the effect of daphne tributing off the strena from here we can then use the strena's effect in order to get the sacred tree or the rika depends on whichever one you want to go for but we'll then be able to bring back the bang and pass on to our opponent with a little bit of a different board that said this is meant to just show that you can end with regulus follow-up as well as we still have the princess in the graveyard that we can use to disrupt our opponent as well on top of everything else that we have in this board. On to the next combo, we have Unexpected Die, or you could have the Sun Seed Loki. We're going to Special Summon out the Loki in order to go into our Dryas, use the effect of Dryas for the Sewing, then we can activate the Sewing, this will get us the Twin, use the effect of the Twin along with the Dryas as we pay 1000 for the Sewing there, but we're going to then be able to gain life points back Special summon out the healer along with the Lokai, use the effect of the healer, as we'll gain more life points, go into the Jasmine, use the effect of Jasmine, special summon out the Rosalina, as we'll then use the effect of Rosalina in order to bring out the Laurel, then we can go into our Jasmine, so another important reason why you want to play two of these is because you can do this, which will get us two adds here, as we'll then be able to add ourselves the Lily Borea along with the Rika Fairy, and now we can use the effect of the Lily Borea, equip anything to it, as we're just going to use the effect of the Lily Borea, send it away, and then we'll be able to activate the Disc Coliseum, getting us access into another copy of Lily Borea. Now, you want to do this because this is something that you can special summon off the Snowdrop, but we're going to then go into our Rosemary in order to get ourselves the Aroma Blend. We can then go into the Link 3, as we'll use its effect so that we can get access into the Bang. We'll then be able to use the Rika Fairy on field in order to get ourselves the Con Con, activate the Con Con, and we can get ourselves the Glamour, use the effect of the Glamour. We'll be able to add us the two 
level fours, the Primula and the Princess, as we're then going to special summon out the Primula off of its own effect, and then we can special summon out the Rika Princess, go into the Strena, as we'll then be able to use the effect of Strena, get back the Laurel, we'll then be able to use the effect of the Blend, pitching the Laurel, as we'll get ourselves the Blessed Winds, use the effect of the Twin, get ourselves the Jasmine on board, use the effect of the Wind so that we can get another search off of the Jasmine, as this will get us the Snowdrop, which is what I was mentioning before, as we're going to now use the Snowdrop in order to get access into our Sacred Tree along with the Rika Princess. We also have the Roma Blend in the Graveyard, I believe, as yeah, we can also get ourselves the Fusion, and we can also trigger off the Sacred Tree in order to get the Negation as well, but we're going to bring out the Fusion Monster as we're going to use the effect of Bang, and with this, we can pass on to our opponent. The second iteration of this combo, again, features Unexpected Die, and we're going to start this one by Special Summoning out the Lokai, go into the Dryas, use its effect in order to get ourselves the Sewing. Now we can use the Sewing in order to Special Summon out the Twin, use the effect of the Twin along with the Dryas, as we'll be able to get ourselves two more bodies here, as you've seen previously, but we'll be able to then go into our Jasmine after we gain some life points here, and then we can use the effect of Jasmine in order to tribute off the Lokai, and then you can special summon out the Aroma Lilith or whatever it's called as we'll get our Laurel on the field, then we can link away into the Jasmine, we'll get our two searches off the Laurel if points effect, as we'll then be able to trigger the Jasmines here, get ourselves the Lily Borea along with the Rika Fairy, we can then use the effect of Lily Borea, equip whatever as we're just going to use the effect of the Lily Borea in order to get access into our Discoliseum, then we'll be able to use the effect of the Discoliseum getting ourselves Lily Borea, going into the Aroma Lilith, Rosemary as then we can go and add ourselves the level 1 Angelica. Now Angelica will give us the ability to get another body on board as this will make it so that we can go into the bank, use the effect of the Rika Fairy. This means that we can now use the Rika Fairy in order to get the Con Con, then we can activate the Con Con as we'll then be able to use the effect of Con Con, get ourselves the Glamour, we'll then be able to use the Glamour, tribute off the Fairy, get ourselves the Primula along with the Princess as we'll use the effect of Primula on Add and then use the effect of Rika Princess so that we can go into the Strena, use the effect of the Strena which will give us access into the Laurel in hand. Now we can continue by using the effect of Laurel as we'll then be able to go into our Daphne, use the effect of Daphne tributing off the Strena so that we can get our Sacred Tree or the Rika Princess depending on what you want to do. We're then going to be able to go into our Sun Avalon Link 4, I forget the name of it, the Dryad I'm not even pronouncing that, but uh, we're going to use its effect in order to get ourselves the Sun Valon Trap. Then we can use the effect of Bang in order to get it back. And this gives us a different approach that we can do for matchups that may be a little bit more monster reliant. While also having an interruption that is a set card and doesn't automatically lose to Dark Ruler. Now this next combo shows where my deck probably deviates from a lot of others, and I'm choosing to play the Preda Plant Engine because there is upside with it, in my opinion, with the new aroma cards as now you have full combo with these cards and you don't really care too much about the loss of life points but we're then going to use the effect of the instant fusion so that we can get that tribute for the jasmine and just the ability to get those three bodies on board is huge for this deck as you also get the addition of the preda plant then we can special summon out our lone fire blossom use the effect of blossom in order to get ourselves loci go into the driest now we can do our standard plant combos but the cool thing about this is that with the Preda plant in hand, we now have the ability to get the discard for the new Roma card, or we even have a special summon off of the Snowdrop, so just really nice. We're going to continue by using the effect of Dryas along with the Twin, get our healer and our Lokai, then we can use the effect of healer, gain those 300 life points, as we'll then go into our Aroma card, as we'll use its effect in order to search ourselves the Angelica into our Jasmine, use the effect of Angelica, then gain life points so that we can trigger the Jasmine, use the effect of Jasmine in order to add ourselves Rosalina, then we can use the effect of the Angelica, go into our Sun Avalon Link 3, use its effect in order to get access into our Bang, and then we can go and use our effect of the Twin in order to banish Roma Link 3, bring back our Jasmine, use the effect of the Rosalina, as we'll then be able to gain life points, triggering the Jasmine, then use its effect in order to get ourselves the Rika Fairy, be off the Bang with the Rika Fairy so that we can get access into the Con Con, now we can get ourselves the Rika Glamour off the Con Con, 
use the effect of the glamour, which will tribute off the fairy, much like you've seen before. Get ourselves the Primula and the Princess so that we have access into Strena. Then we're going to special summon off the Primula, special summon off the Princess, go into the Strena, use the effect of the Strena, which will get us the add from the graveyard for the Lone Fire Blossom. So just something else that you can do, which is getting follow-up, and that's really nice. But we're going to then get the Bang on board. Now we can link away into the Daphne. If you would like to, you don't have to at this point. I'm just showing that you can even continue to play on through here but this is something that's completely optional as we're now going to use the effect of Daphne trigger off the Streno while getting some resources back and once we have the sacred tree on board we can pass on to our opponent so if you're playing the Preta plant engine another combo that you have access to is the instant fusion and in the deck profile I mentioned how you can either play Valor or stuff like thrust and talents because thrust can technically search out your instant fusion if you're going second and your opponent uses a monster effect but the thing with the effect Veiler is that it is a send for Scorpio and it's an extra monster so we're just going to activate the instant fusion get ourselves the Preta Plant fusion use its effect in order to add ourselves the Scorpio now we can normal summon the Scorpio use the Scorpio pitching the Veiler bringing out our Cobra and now we have three monsters and in these three specific zones it means that as long as you summon your Jasmine to a zone that it's pointing towards a plant then you can combo off as you'll be able to get your Lone Fire Blossom off of the Jasmine and you've seen this before as we're going to use the Lone Fire tributing the Jasmine bring out the Lokai, go into the Sunvine Dryas, use the effect of the Dryas for the sewing, activate the sewing, get ourselves the twin, trigger the twin along with the Dryas, giving us the healer, some life points, and the Lokai on board. And from here, we can then go into our Arrow Mage or Aroma Lilith Link 3, as we're then going to get ourselves the Search, and from here we can add ourselves the Angelica, as we're then going to go to the Jasmine, use the Angelica to gain some life points so that we can trigger the Jasmine, and now we can Special Summon back out the Angelica as we add ourselves the Rika fairy then go into our melius as we'll be able to use the melius reviving the loci and now we can go into our bang as we'll be able to tribute the bang off for the fairy use the effect of the fairy in order to get ourselves the con con activate the con con for the glamour and you've seen this before as we're going to be able to tribute off the fairy and now we'll be able to get ourselves an addition for the two level fours as we get the primula and the princess special summon out the primula with its effect as we'll then special summon out the princess with its own effect and now we'll go into the strena use the effect of strena as we'll be able able to add ourselves the driest back to the extra deck use the effect of bang and at this point you have a couple of options you can end your board like this or you can use the effect of arrow mage or the aroma lilith link three in order to banish the strena get yourself the sacred tree and then from here you can pass on to your opponent having the princess still in the graveyard as an extra disrupt you could bring out your rika queen if you would like to as well over the sacred tree beast now this next combo shows the main reason why we're playing the Therion engine and as as you've seen, a lot of these combos just throw lose to potential hand traps like Nib or, and stuff like that. And even though Droll is something that you may not really be able to play around fully, having the ability to get this potential negate, you don't get hit by the Droll, lets you play through so much more. And I feel like it's too important, but we're going to special summon out the Regulus as we're going to equip the Lily Boreal, continue our plays as we're going to bring out the Dryas, go at our sewing, use the effect of sewing as we'll be able to get our twin. We can pay 1000 as we'll then be able to use the twin and bring back the Lokai, along with the effect of Dryas giving us the healer. We'll then get the additional life points off of healer, which will then be able to link away into our Jasmine, use the effect of Jasmine, tribute off the twin in order to get ourselves the Aroma, as we'll use the effect of the Rose, as we'll get ourselves the Laurel, go into our second Jasmine so that we can use the effect of Laurel, trigger both Jasmines in order to get two searches. Now we'll be able to add ourselves Angelica along with the Rika Fairy, and now we'll go into our new Link 3 as we'll be able to use its effect in order to add ourselves the blend use the effect of blend as we'll be able to pitch the angelica get ourselves the winds use the effect of angelica revive it we'll then be able to go into the link three use its effect in order to bring back the loci go into our bang then we contribute the bang off for the rika fairy use the effect of the rika fairy for the con con then we can activate the rika con con as we'll get ourselves the glamour we can then use the effect of glamour which will tribute off the fairy in order to get ourselves access into strena via the primula 
and the princess. We can special summon out the princess and the primula, as we'll then be able to go into our strena and add ourselves a card off the strena. But we're going to add ourselves the laurel back, and this is what you really want to get back most of the time, since it's just something that you can still special summon in case. But we're going to use the twin to get back the jasmine, so that we can then use the effect of the blessed winds. And this will trigger the jasmine again, which means that we can get the snowdrop this way. And because we have the laurel in hand, we can activate the snowdrop, special summon the laurel and the snowdrop, use the effect of the strena to get our sacred tree, use the effect of the snowdrop in order to get ourselves into the Rika 8, as we'll then be able to use the effect of the spell card in order to trigger the sacred tree along with getting the fusion monster. Then at this point, we can revive the bang. At this, I'll take you on to the next one. Now, this combo is very similar to the previous one, where we're going to get the protection. Instead, we're going to be starting off with the loci. And board is going to look very similar, except that there was some stuff with zoning that we could mess around with, if you noticed. And if you didn't, then you'll see it at the end of this combo. But we're going to add ourselves the zoning, as we'll then be able to use the effect of the Lily Borea. So summon itself out, use the effect of Lily Borea, send itself so that we can get access into our Regulus. The effect of this Coliseum, use the effect in order to add ourselves the Regulus. Regulus, the effect of Regulus in order to get the protection as we'll then be able to activate the sewing. Then we can special summon out the twin, pay 1000 as we'll then be able to use the effect the twin and the Dryas in order to get ourselves our two bodies, along with the life point gains that we'll get off of Dryas and Healer. So we'll be at 8300 as we're then going to be able to bring out the Jasmine, use the effect of the Jasmine, special summoning out the Rosalina as we'll use the effect of the Rosalina, special summoning out the Laurel, and then go into another copy of Jasmine, use the effect of Laurel in 500 as we'll be able to trigger the two Jasmines in order for two searches of Angelica and the Rika Fairy. From here we can then go into our Link 3 as we'll be able to use the Rosemary in order to add ourselves the Blend, activate the Blend, pitching the Angelica in order to get the Blessed Winds, use the effect of Angelica, bring itself back, go into the Sun Avalon Link 3, use the Link 3 in order to get access into Bang as we'll then be able to tribute the Bang off with the Rika Fairy. We'll summon out the Rika Fairy as we're then going to be able to add ourselves the Con Con, the effect of Con Con, which will be able to add ourselves the Rika Glamour. And at this point, we can then use the Rika Glamour in order to tribute off the Rika Fairy, add ourselves our two level fours, as we'll be able to still summon out the Primula off of its own effect. We'll summon the Princess after, we'll then be able to go into the Strena, use the effect of Strena again to get the Laurel back, as we'll then be able to use the effect of Twin, get our Jasmine back, use the effect of Blessed Wind, so that we can gain life points and get ourselves the Snowdrop via the Jasmine. Then at this point, we're going to use our Snowdrop tribute off the Strena. We'll then special summon out the Laurel and the Snowdrop, get ourselves the effect of the Strena for the Sacred Tree, as we'll then be able to use the effect of Snowdrop to go into our Rika rank 8. Now, the difference here is that we're going to special summon the Rika rank 8 here, and then we're going to use the Winds along with the Sacred Tree. The Winds will then be able to bring out the Fusion Monster, as this will put it in the extra Monster Zone, and then we can special summon out the Bang. Now, the second option that that you have if you don't want to end on this board is that you can link away the Jasmine, the Fusion Monster, and the Bang in order to go into your Sun Avalon Link 4. And in this case, I'm just going to show that you can also go into the Sylvan Link 2 first if you would like to, since you can just go into the Sun Avalon with Jasmine plus the Sylvan Link. But we're then going to use the Sun Avalon effect in order to get ourselves the Bloom. And with this, we can pass on to our opponent. Do keep in mind that this part is optional. For the final combo, this is the only combo that really doesn't show any of the starters, and it's because the deck is very reliant on seeing its starters, which I will explain over later on in the deck profile, but we're going to start this one with the Princess and the Primula. Normal summon the Primula, special summon out the Princess, go into our Jasmine, use the effect of Lily Borea, then we can use the effect of Lily Borea in order to get ourselves the Disc Coliseum, then we can use the effect of Disc Coliseum in order to add ourselves another copy of Regulus, as we'll then be able to use the effect of Jasmine. We get the Lily Borea in Graveyard. Now we have access into getting Regulus on board, which is really nice because even though we do play into hand traps early, just having the protection for the rest of the turn is really nice. But we're going to then go into the Dryas, use its effect in order to get the Sewing. We can then activate the Sewing, get ourselves the Twin, the effect of the Twin along with the Dryas, which will give us the two extra bodies, as we'll then get the Healer along with the Lokai and the Life Point gain. So we'll be at 8300 again, and we'll be able to go 
go into our Jasmine, I believe, or we'll go into the Sylvan Link, but then going to excavate. And keep in mind, I'm not special summoning anything off of the Sylvan Link, because I don't want to any random stuff into the combo. So we're just going to show the Lone Fire or whatever, just treat it as a random card. I'm going to then go into our Rosemary, use the effect of the Rosemary, get ourselves the Laurel, use the effect of Laurel, as we'll then be able to link away into the Jasmine, use the effect of Laurel in order to get the life point gain for the Jasmine search, as we'll then add ourselves the Rika Fairy, go into our Sun Avalon Link 3, use the effect of the Sun Avalon Link 3, bring back the Lokai to the bank, use the effect of Fairy, tribute it off as we'll then be able to use the effect of Fairy on field in order to get the Con Con. Con Con can then get ourselves the Glamour. From here we can then use the effect of Glamour, which will tribute off the Rika Fairy in order to get access into our Snowdrop along with the Lily Borea. Another important reason why you want to play the Sirion package as Lily Borea is level 8 for this, but we'll then be able to go into our Rika 8 as we'll then use the effect of Beng, and with this we can pass on to our opponent. The combos out of the way, we can get onto the deck profile, and you'll see that the deck really is reliant on 18 or 18 cards. Everything else is just the Sirion package. We also have the Rika stuff, which is all kind of dead to see in hand unless you see specific pieces together, like the Primula and the Princess along with the Lily Borea, as you just saw. Not really cards that you want to see in hand, and it's also why I'm playing 60. We're also playing 60 because we do play the Predoplant engine. I felt like if you didn't play 60 then you were really locked into just playing the Lone Fire, the Sunvine Loki, along with the Unexpected Die. It was Alina to rely on all your starting plays and then having all these engines. It felt super locked in seeing that one card where I didn't trust it enough, so I decided to go with the 60 card version so that we could fit more going second cards as well. But then we can also play the cross out, add the extra card like Nib. Still am on the Bloom, which this can be a second copy of the new Aroma Link if you would like that to be. But I just wanted to show that you can still play this. Unfortunately, we don't have SP or the Sylvan Link in the extra deck. And it's because I really did want to make space for Predaplant stuff because I think it's really important with the limits to the Dryas and the Healer just because isn't as many ways to extend now so having more ways to get extra cards on field from hand when you have something like unexpected die plus the predator plant engine gets you just into a bunch of bodies via the loci and three bodies alone off of the predator plant engine with a search that you get off of the fusion which can end up being used later in your combos i felt was just too important overall and as you see it's a 1.5 card combo that still raises the overall consistency of the deck and doesn't deter it because the new aroma cards allow you to combo with it the new card that i didn't go over was aroma healing and i don't think that we can play this unfortunately at the moment it reads gain 1000 life points for each aroma monster with different names you control you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one aroma monster in your graveyard as a cost will summon it but banish it when it leaves the field then gain 500 life points you can only use one aroma healing effect per turn and only once that turn so if we had a consistent way to get this into the graveyard i think it would be better but we're not really adding two of our aroma cards before we pitch off of the end and that makes it so i don't think that it's worth it stated earlier you can play the humid winds if you would like to or the losing life points isn't too important right now but you don't want to lose too much either because you do want your life points to be higher for some of your aroma effects all of that out of the way i don't have much else to say about the deck profile is everything is pretty linear in my opinion you have your card starters here with the one for one as well and then you have your extenders along with the engine pieces and you're going second cards but just get onto the card by card and we have the three lone fire the three loci the three unexpected die the three scorpio the one cobra we then have the one twin the one laurel the one one for one discoliseum angelica we then have the sewing instant fusion wins we then have the blend the three copies of the rosalina the three copies of small world we then have the con con the glamour along with the riga sheet and the bloom have nibiru called by no drop regulus the three copies of lily borea the one copy of rika fairy the one copy of primula princess the three copies of cross out we then have the three copies of imperm the three copies of Taylor, which can also be something else if you would like it to be like lens and thrust or something but we have the three copies of the droll the three copies of bell and the three copies of ash blossom to round out the main deck onto the extra deck we have our preta plant ambulance or whatever it's called aroma magnolia we then have the strena we have the rika queen we then have the sacred 
tree, the Typhon, which is important because it's anti-Zeus, and this is why I picked it over the FP and the Zeus in general, just because one of the big weaknesses to plant is Zeus, and having the Typhon to counter that is very important in my opinion, but then we have the Sun Avalon Dryas, we then have the Healer, we then have the Daphne, we then have the two copies of Jasmine, the one copy of Rosemary, which can be two if you want to take this out, we then have the one Melius, the one Avalon Link 4, and the Bang to round out our deck profile. So for everyone who's made it this far, I'd like to thank you for watching and for the 700 plus subs. I truly appreciate your support. We've monetized the channel, giving us access to supers and memberships means that more awesome stuff is on the horizon. To get the channel membership, just click on the description below and there will be a link that takes you there. You'll also notice a free Discord link that I've made for us too. If you want to support me as a content creator, even if you can't donate supers or get a membership for the channel, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons help a lot too. For those wondering, I do plan on making updates to the channel as the support on the channel grows. Anyways, I hope to see you on the next one. It's Bones, signing out.